G'day, I'm here to review the Philips Norelco Power Touch. This is the AT810 model, made in China. Anyway, um, got your power cord on the bottom, standard Norelco, beard trimmer on the back, flip top head, and this one can actually be rinsed. You can actually take rinse it under, and you'll see me doing that in the video here. So let's take a look at this uh, bad boy in action. Like every wet dry razor, you have to test it both with and without shaving cream. So I'm going to start off and to more accurately compare this one, I actually did take and shave half my face using a standard Schick razor, the other half using the Philips Norelco. And here we go. I'm going to lather it up there quick. And then I'm going to start with the standard razor. Now this is like your normal double blade disposable Schick razor. So this one is, you know, buy them off the shelf. They're pretty cheap. But for me, I found that most electric razors cannot produce the same close shave that your standard, even a single blade Bic, off the shelf couldn't do. And here I'm going to start using the Philips Norelco. And so far I like the fact that it's worked rather well. It actually is able to, without gumming up or having any issues, shave me while my face is wet. Uh, they say it's one you could shave in the shower with. Um, I don't believe that's an appropriate video for the site, but just they say you can shave in the shower, and I would I would believe it based on what I'm seeing here. And time for the final comparison. Um, from what I felt, this this does a very good job of getting close. There, there still is a slight difference between this razor and a single blade, you know, your standard bladed shave, but. It does a really good job of getting as close to the skin as you would expect from closer, actually, than you'd expect from most electric razors. But the question is, how does it work on a dry shave? Dry shave, it works like every other electric razor. It just does the job. I mean, there's not, not much I can say in this particular case. I did find it strange, though, that I actually got a razor nick while using this one um, during the dry shave, which surprised me because I've never actually gotten a razor nick from any any electric razors at all so not sure what happened there if I was holding it the wrong angle or doing something but yeah it seems like it might just be a fluke while shaving the bottom of my chin I noticed that like every other electric razor it seems that even though it does contour it doesn't seem to get all of what I was hoping um, it still leaves quite a bit of stubble that I would have to go over later with some form of standard non-electric razor and so I'm a little disappointed in that but for the most part though it is doing a good job of getting the majority of the contours underneath my chin and picking up most on the flat surfaces more so than the uh, curved surfaces like around my Adam's apple and such and as I stated earlier you can rinse this off in your sink which makes it a really easy razor to clean I like that very much because well rinser and although they give you the brush to do the finer cleaning pretty much a good rinse right after you shave is more than enough to clean it making it the easiest razor I've owned yet to clean uh, electric razor that is so the question is do I recommend the Philips Norelco Power Touch AT810 well yes and no this actually is of the best electric razor I've used to date flexible head it gets most of the spots around me. It does a really good job of getting close to the skin, um, near perfect to a standard blade. Now, with the beard trimmer, great for the mustache, great for the soul patch, great for just trimming stuff up. The part about this razor that I did not like is that this is just for me. It razors dare from person to person, but for me, getting around the Adam's apple and some of those areas. It didn't get close enough, so I still had to go over those with the standard straight edge. Uh, the wet-dry portion of it, though, the fact that it's an aquatic razor and usable in the shower, wonderful. I absolutely enjoyed that. I think that was uh, definitely a welcome touch by Phillips. So, overall, 
I do recommend this. This would be a great razor, especially if you're a person who regularly shaves with electric razors. If you're a person like me, who generally tends to use the straight edge a lot more, um, it works. It does a lot of what you'd expect. However, like I said, um, for me, I couldn't quite get on my neck, Adam's apple, areas like that as close as I wanted to. So for me, I had a little bit of difficulty with it. But still, excellent razor, excellent product. I do recommend this one.